Creating art is about storytelling. So, shall we just change the tempo back into around 60 so we, we understand? Storytelling is how we stay connected to one another as human beings, and it is how we feel seen and heard. We can't decide on the Boeing at the beginning. We share our stories to connect with others and to feel alive and vibrant. In my own musical compositions, my goal is to create a story and to create a space for the listener to have an emotional experience. Typically, when I write a piece, I don't share the narrative of the piece with the audience because I want them to be able to read themselves into the piece and not be distracted by my personal life. But the piece I composed for the Chamber Music Society and for the Sitkovetsky Trio is a bit different um, because it is in memory of my father. I composed the piece in the four months following his passing, and it reflects on the painful, visceral experience of losing him, as well as the very powerful, vibrant memories of love and joy and creative fun and play that we had together. When I was a kid, my dad said to me, you can be whatever you want when you grow up, as long as you're an artist. And uh, I really took that to heart. And we used to play in all sorts of mediums together. We would paint and we would put on plays and I constantly had set designs propped up in the house. What my father really taught me is that creating art was about having fun and playing and reveling in the creative process itself. By trying to say something about yourself through different mediums, that was really the way to express yourself and to create art. The piano trio is entitled Etched in Smoke and Light, and it is inspired by my dad's paintings. They contain traces of smoke, and many of them are transparent, and so you can see the light dance across the work's surface. In my piece, you can hear the smoke and also, I think, the refraction of light in the instruments. And those are there as sort of an homage to his textures and atmospheres that I found so transportive. And, and let's take our time. Mind if we write in like overlap? Maybe yes, write in a eight, eight note in? Yeah, absolutely. I will add it.
A lot of times when I'm struggling to write or I'm feeling unmotivated, I like to think about my dad's paintings and his pieces and his encouragement and what he would say to sort of help me get back in the studio. Actually being in his creative space feels very welcoming. It feels like seeing him again in a way. And it reminds me of my youth and how I would, you know, be on the floor of his studio drawing or humming <laughs> and just, you know, thinking about what it was that I wanted to make one day. Writing this piece was a challenge. It was also a very cathartic experience. I wanted to share that this is a piece about loss. This is a piece about what it feels like to lose someone and also what it feels like to have the joyful, beautiful memories that you do have of that person uh, come and comfort you. While this piece encapsulates an important and difficult moment in my life, it also, as the title suggests, etched in smoke and light, it's an inscription of an ephemeral thing. It doesn't have to stay in the world of this particular moment for me and the loss of my father. It will always have me and him in the work, but it could be about something else entirely for someone else they can listen to my music and this piece will mean something completely different to them. And that's really the beauty of art, is that it allows us to transcend the realities of our daily lives. The Chamber Music Society thanks you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support.